Hi, this is Rick from EssentialPhotoshopElements.com. In this video, we're going to see a quick way to crop your photo without using the crop tool. Someone posted a question on my Facebook page recently that's the inspiration for this video. They wanted to know how to resize an 11 by 17 inch photo down to 8 by 10 inches and still maintain the same proportions. Basically, since 11 by 17 doesn't size down to 8 by 10 proportionally, you have two choices. One, if you're willing to get rid of some of your photo, you can simply crop it down to 8 by 10. Or two, if you want to keep the entire photo, you'll have to add extra space to one of the dimensions. Let's head over to Photoshop Elements and look at cropping the photo first. I'm using Photoshop Elements 11 for this video, but you can get the same results with other versions of Elements too. I have this 11 by 17 photo open. We can't see the entire photo at 100% view size, so I'm going to use a little trick some of you might know to quickly get my entire photo to fit in my window, and that is to double click on the hand tool in the toolbox. Now we can see the whole photo. I'm also going to show you a trick for cropping your photo to a specific size by using the rectangular marquee tool instead of the crop tool. So go over to the toolbox and in the select category of the toolbox there are four tools visible and the top right tool in the select group is where the marquee tools are. There are two different marquee tools that share that same space. There's the elliptical marquee tool and the rectangular marquee tool but you can only see one of them at a time. They both look like dashed lines. The elliptical marquee tool is shaped like an oval and the rectangular marquee tool is shaped like a, let me think, oh yeah, like a rectangle. If you see the rectangular marquee tool in the toolbox, all you have to do is click on it to make it active. But if you see the elliptical marquee tool there instead, like you see in my toolbox, first go ahead and click on it and then it will be the active tool and we can go down to the tool options to make the rectangular marquee tool active. So I'll click on the elliptical marquee tool and now down in the tool options I can click on the rectangular marquee to make it active. Once I do that, you can see that the rectangular marquee tool is now in that spot in the toolbox, indicating that it's the active tool. Now I'm going to make another adjustment here in the Tool Options panel. When you click on the field here called Aspect, you see a drop-down list. Choose Fixed Size from the list by clicking on it. Notice that the width and height fields change to 64 pixels. This is where we can change our crop size to 8 by 10. First, triple click in the width field to select everything in it. Now type 8IN for 8 inches. If you're using centimeters rather than inches, type CM. Then press the tab key to highlight the height field and type 10. Now move your cursor over your photo in the live work area and click once. You don't even have to drag, just click. And when you do, an 8 by 10 selection appears as indicated by the marching ants. The area inside of the selection represents what part of your photo that will remain after we crop it. The area outside of the selection will be deleted. You can move the selection around your photo by placing your cursor inside of the selection and clicking and dragging it. I basically want my subject to remain after cropping and I'm not too concerned with any other part of the photo. So I'll move my selection over him and I see that he fits in the selection from head to toe. But I'm thinking that I want to keep the golf club that he's holding up in the photo also. When I move the selection up to include the golf club, I can see that part of his legs will be cropped away. I decide that I'd rather have the golf club in the photo, so I'll leave the selection there. Now to crop it, just go up to the image menu and choose crop by clicking on it. And now our photo is cropped down to 8 by 10. And to get rid of the marching ants that are still around the outside of my photo, I'll go up to the select menu and choose deselect by clicking on it. And at this point I would go to the file menu and choose save as. In the dialog box that appears, I'll rename my photo. My original photo was named resize.jpg. Elements automatically added underscore edited dash one. 
I'm going to click and drag over that added type to highlight it, and then I'm going to type underscore cropped 8x10, because that is more descriptive for me. And then select Save. Now my original uncropped photo will remain unchanged, and I'll have an additional 8x10 version that is easily identified by its name. Next time, we'll see how to resize our 11 by 17 photo to 8x10 without getting rid of any of the photo. Until then, this is Rick from EssentialPhotoshopElements.com saying take care.